to another Journalist Toolbox AI quick study training. My name is Mike Riley, the founder of Journalist Toolbox AI. Today we're going to work with a tool called Adobe Firefly. It's a text to image tool. You can find Adobe Firefly and many other resources linked up out of journalisttoolbox.ai. Just go to the image creation section right here and you'll be able to find links to Firefly, Midjourney, Dolly, many other tools uh, that you can create some fantastic illustrations with. You always want to be concerned with ethics too with uh, image and video generation tools. We have an ethics section right over here that you can open. It's got a lot of ethical guidelines. I'll talk about those for a little bit too while we're actually creating the images. You should always label your illustrations as such uh, when you're posting them to the web, whether it be in social media, in a website, uh, or just a standalone image. You should put it in the alt tags uh, if you're sharing it on social media. So let's work with Firefly, uh, firefly.adobe.com. Um, I'm going to give it three prompts and we're going to kind of work through those and see what works well and what doesn't. Um, so to get started, uh, go to firefly.adobe.com. And when you arrive there, it gives you a, a collection of uh, different tools here, you know, recoloring, 3D imagery, things like that. We're going to work with the text to image tool right here on the left. Go ahead and hit generate. It takes you into the tool. Um, it shows you a bunch of images that other people have created here. Um, uh, yours will show up in here as well. Um, it gives you a little prompt down here at the bottom that you can describe the image you want. Um, the more specific you are, the more detailed your image will be. Uh, and you can tinker with it a little bit and add things as you go, which I'll show you how to do in a minute. So I'm going to give you three prompts here. Um, this first one is a cutaway of a two-story uh, four-bedroom light gray home with red shutters, flowers, and other landscaping. Um, and here's one that I generated earlier. You can see, kind of see what it looks like here in the interface. Uh, and once you uh, generate the images, uh, you can uh, edit them and add some effects, kind of like you would in Photoshop or another photo editing tool. So let me drop in my prompt down here and hit Generate in the lower right-hand corner. You can also just hit Return. And unlike a lot of other uh, text-to-image generators, it gives you some tools down the right-hand side here uh, where you can uh, determine your aspect ratio if you want to go maybe with a different uh, 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 layout. Maybe I want to go landscape 4 to 3 ratio rather than square. It always defaults to square. Um, I, I can add different filters on here, digital art or palette knife, uh, you know, classic. Uh, it'll give you different effects. I can work with color and tone, lighting if I wanted uh, maybe some studio lighting or maybe golden hour if I want more of kind of a sunset shot, things like that. Um, the composition, if you want more of a shot from above, narrow depth of field, a close up, blur the background out, depending you know, if you want an image just to pop off the page, you can do that. And notice here it gave me a lot of what I was looking for, red shutters it gave me on one of the, uh, yeah, two of the images, but the others it stuck with white images or white shutters. Uh, it gave me some landscaping and a yard and some of the things I asked for. So I can go in here uh, into, you know, I can you know, change the composition a little bit and, uh, uh, you know, go wide angle with it or something like that. Color tone, maybe I'll make the colors a little more vibrant. Uh, it'll add uh, the effects down here, all the styles. If you want to get rid of them, you can just clear them here or, or knock them out one by one if you want to. Um, also, you can go in here and rate the result uh, and give it, uh, you know, a rating. That helps uh, the uh, machine learning, uh, the, the software better understand uh, uh, what you're looking for. So I, I give us uh, the thumbs up here. I can tell them more if I wanted to, a little more detail. Uh, if it's doing something wrong, I can report it. You know, if I think it's maybe stealing an image, uh, you know, from Getty Images or something like that, uh, I could report it. I can also download it up here. It gives me some other options in here. I like this one here, so I'm going to download it. It's kind of interesting. This is one of the few uh, text -to image tools that do this. It uh, stops you and actually says, you know, content, content credentials will be included. Um, so it, it includes uh, the fact that it was built uh, in AI and Firefly. Uh, it really helps with the transparency and the trust with it, you know. And, and you would want to label this, you know, being a journalist, you'd want to label this as, you know, uh, an illustration. You know, this doesn't look like a photo, it looks like a, a graphic illustration. Uh, however, you want to mention that it was built here and not something you drew yourself in Adobe Illustrator. Um, so you need to do that for transparency. So you can download your images and then you can uh, do work with them. You're the ultimate rights holder to that image. Um, other people may use this exact same uh, 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 prompt. You may be using it. 
Um, your image will look a little bit different from mine, so you are the rights holder of that image. You know? So uh, people own uh, the rights uh, to the image, not to the prompt itself. So it's uh, something that's a little bit different uh, uh, than what you see uh, with uh, you know, maybe shooting a photo on uh, a camera or something. Um, these are very popular for uh, food uh, uh, journalists. Uh, being able to, you know, uh, if you don't maybe have the money to uh, afford a, an expensive photo shoot and you're doing a story on you know, breakfast bowls with whole grain uh, and you want to uh, actually stage something uh, and, you know, of course, label it as a photo illustration, this is a good place to come and do it. Um, you know, a lot of newsrooms don't have the money for a, uh, uh, a studio to, to shoot anymore. Uh, this is a good way uh, to work around that. Um, so I've got my breakfast bowls here, and you know, I'm going to change my composition a little bit here, and and we'll uh, do a little more of a wide angle, and my lighting, I'm going to do more studio lighting with it, uh, and give it a little, you know, a little different uh, effect in here. Um, and I kind of like this shot here. This is a pretty good one. It's got a little bit more going on. The one with a, uh, uh, you know, coffee cup up here is kind of cool too. Uh, but I'm going to go with this one. I'll download this one going to give it a good result. Uh, very easy to download. It goes right into your downloads folder, um, which is off the screen here. I'll pop it up and, you know, there's my images, you know, one I created earlier and then this one. Uh, and you can just drag them out to your desktop uh, when you're done. So, um, you know, really easy uh, to, to generate stuff. And, and again, you can go and edit and tinker uh, as you go along and see what you come up with. One thing that Firefly doesn't do well, that Midjourney and some of the other tools do, do well, is specifics. Um, you know, I gave it in these first two were very broad, generic instructions. Okay, um, here I want a cutaway model of a 2023 BMW M340i XDrive, blue paint and black interior. In fact, we're going to go with dark blue paint. I'll, I'll uh, tweak it a little bit here, and we'll see what it comes up with. See if it can actually give me a realistic looking BMW M340i. It does not. <laughs> uh, the M340, the front of this one looks a little bit like an M340i. Uh, it doesn't have a steering wheel in the middle of the car. Um, uh, this one uh, is a little off too, um, uh, just not the same thing. I've had others where it uh, really generated something that looked more like a Lamborghini. Um, uh, here's what one actually looks like. I, I actually did one in Mid Journey and it nailed it. Um, all the way down to the wheels, the grill, everything. Uh, it's just right. I gave it a little cutaway, and then you can go in and, and use this as a template to, to add a little cutaway with instructions on you know what's what in here. Um, even the breakdown of the engine block uh, is, is very accurate. I actually went to the website and compared it to what was in there. The bucket seats, everything, uh, you know, great detail. Uh, so Firefly, not quite as good. So if you want something very specific, Firefly might not be for you, at least not yet. Um, but, uh, you know, still this one isn't bad and this one's kind of cool, but, uh, you know, some things are off here uh, quite a bit. So, um, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, you know, Firefly is an effective little tool. Um, experiment with it. Um, uh, if you're using this out of the Journal's Toolbox textbook, uh, the handbook, um, I've got some other prompts in there that you can work with as well.